In this video, we're going to look at the example, what volume of cork would be needed to support a person a mass 85 kilograms without getting her feet wet in a fresh body of water. All right, so what we have is a situation here where we have a piece of cork that's essentially being used as a raft. We have a person standing on it. And we want to know what volume we need so that essentially the water level never gets above the raft. So essentially, we're going to do the extreme here where the water level is exactly at the top of the raft made out of cork. In order to solve this, I'm going to sum forces. So I have three forces at work here. I have the buoyant force pushing up, the weight of the raft made out of cork pushing down, and the weight of the person pushing down. So I've summed my three forces here. So the buoyant force minus the force of the cork minus the force of the person equals zero. So I've subbed in my buoyant force equation here, the density of the fluids, so in this case it's water, so I put a subscript W there, times G times the volume. Now it's the volume of the water displaced, but because the raft is fully submerged, I'm going to put the volume of the raft or the cork in this case. So I put a subscript C here. Minus the mass of the cork times G, minus mass of the person times G equals zero. Now we have an issue here. We're trying to find the volume of this cork, but we also have the mass of the cork in here. We don't want two unknowns in our equation. So what I've done here is I've taken the equation density equals mass divided by volume, and I've rearranged it to do density times volume equals mass. So you can see here, if we replace the mass of the cork with the density of cork times the volume of cork. And this means I can look up the density of cork, and now I have only one unknown, the volume of the cork. So you can see here, next I plugged in my values. So the density of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed times 9.8 meters per second times our unknown volume. And I've looked up the density of cork, so 0.2 times 10 to the 3 kilograms per meter cubed. So I found this in the table I have linked in bright space. Still have volume of the cork there, times 9.8 meters per second squared. And then minus the mass of the person, 85 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared. All right, so you'll notice here that I've multiplied my numbers up front. And I have two terms with the volume of the cork. So I've combined those two terms. I moved the one without the variable to the other side so that I can do a division to finish the problem. So that gives me a volume of 0.112 meters cubed. 